Hey everyone, William Coxwell here. Today, I would like to talk to you about autism. What is autism, you might ask? Autism, in a matter of speaking, is a disorder that exists in the brain, which is recognized by a lack of communication between peers and ongoing behavior. The CDC reports that 9 per 1,000 are diagnosed with autism. Autism has become a national hot topic, but for me, it is a personal issue. The reason why is because I have autism. It is not something I am proud of or that I hold in high regard, even though it may be what I am today. To me, autism, Asperger's, and all those names mean one thing in common, that I was a freak, an outcast, someone who didn't fit in with the normal crowd. The person who always eats lunch by himself. The kid who always shakes likes to shake his pencils. The guy who likes to, the guy who like, likes to walk quietly across the track. That was who I was. My years in school were not always easy. For my middle school years, they were the most difficult. The students acting like juvenile monsters. To the teachers, basically powerless to stop them. If you wish for an example, the teachers yelling were yelling at the students. And the students were basically just ignoring her, just like that. And that was before the whole bullying nonsense was going on, folks. During my high school years, when they actually got me to in the class with people with disabilities, and to be honest, some of them are actually good people, to be honest. I actually give them credit. They were not the ones who were biting their skin, waving their arms around. These were individuals who had the same problem that I had. You wouldn't want to know what the, what the symptoms of autism are. Well, as I mentioned, biting your skin and waving your arms are not the only things. One major difference is that thinking people one major difference is that is the lack of communication. I am guilty of that due to the fact that I only talked to people that I felt comfortable with. I didn't want to go into a group setting and I was often forced into it. Another major odd symptom was that my, the worries, my worries were often turned to the voices saying, Did you touch this person? Did you touch that person? Did you touch this person? Did you touch this person? Meaning did I molest them or not? Basically, it made me commit, almost made me have suicidal thoughts. They nearly put me in a rehab center. And that was a nightmare I was, that, that I don't want to go through again. As much as autism has hurt me, has also helped me as well. Without it, I wouldn't like the vast number of topics that have given me much pride and joy, such as TV, internet, books, movies, and politics. That's plus. The reason, that's possibly the reason why I write fanfics or sting on YouTube. It is the way that I am. But even my struggles, I don't see this as, Ha ha! I own you, bitches! I see this as completing one round of the fight and moving on to the next. You're probably going to say, What do you hope to achieve by this? I'm simply saying, Nothing. I want to talk about a basic issue for those who are willing to listen. I've said this before, and I'm saying it again. I want to make films and go to Hollywood, but the thing is that such things have to be earned. I don't want to do it because of money or fame or power, but because I like the job of doing so. And the odds are that not everyone will make it. The chances are it's one in a million, possibly higher. And what are the chances of a white autistic 20 year old going and making his debut? Very small. I don't want to sound all doom and gloom. But, I mean, but would you rather have a real list? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom for everyone. But at the same time, I'd rather, have, I'd rather have an honest side of me than, you know. That's all for now. Until next time, William Coxwell signing out.